Hey, hey, welcome back. My name is Fallen Artemy. This looks way too blue. Huh. Let's uh, let me just uh, do a little bit of that. Oops. There we go. Now I don't look so blue. Uh, yeah, so just a few, uh, maybe like an hour ago, we, I finished playing It Takes Two and com completely finished it. So it's all done and all that. Um, the game, it's cool. I didn't really like it that much, but you know. I can see why people enjoy it, enjoyed it, and all that. Personally, not my type of game. Whatever. But it's been done. And yesterday, we also finished, it takes, uh, no, nope, we finished Life is Strange True Colors. So today, um, I'm going to play the DLC, which is Wavelengths. So Life is Strange True Colors Wavelengths, which is basically, or not basically, which is... Uh, this, which is Steph's story. So it's basically a prequel to True Colors and it follows Steph and how she came to this town, I think. Which is kind of weird because like in the game, you, Alex can go for either... Huh? Life Strange Season 1? I have not played Life Strange Season 1. Season one is the it's the first game. Okay, no, I haven't played the first game. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was the thing that was gonna happen. But yeah. Okay, now I'm interested. I wanna Yeah, we I mean that's the same thing with Alex. Alright, here we go. The weird thing is, Ryan doesn't get his own story, but Steph does, which makes me feel like Steph might be the main, main like, love interest after all. Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe, right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um... No big reason. I'm just trying to... Okay. There was a breakup involved. Ah. So I wanted a change of scenery. A new job in a gorgeous place. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day. So that's probably around here somewhere. All right, cool. I'm still a little puzzled as to why the events or the endings of the first game would be involved here, but 
I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, another thing is this this DLC is only like three hours long if you really sit down and do it, which I'm gonna do right now. So after I come back and play, after I play Life is Strange One, the remastered one, because getting the ultimate edition of True Colors gives you the free pass for the remastered games. Um, I'll come back and try this again and just see if it meant anything. But um, so task list, let's do that first. Our what are you supposed to be? So, just like I, when I played Alex, I'm going to check out everything I can before doing the objective because I want to see how Steph reacts to things. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Okay, so there's the on-air thing, but we can't interact with it yet. First, great. Here's the list. Introduce yourself, use the computer to play the auto DJ, read all the ads on air, add copies on the desk. It's very unlikely, but people might call in. If someone calls, answer, Beatrice. All right. Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. All righty. Need to turn this on first. You gotta make sure, yeah. I always gotta make sure your mic is on. One of these buttons is the mic switch. Oh, well, we know. All right, let's go. What's up, kind Haven listeners? Steph here. Your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. Where? Oh, computer. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. I, I've used a tool like this before. It'll do. I, I don't guess. know what it was called, but it was a DJ tool, and I was pretty good at it. I just did it for fun. Hello. And then whenever there was a party, I would DJ in the background and stuff. Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. Let's start with this one. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too. I would ask where these came from, but I don't look a gift stegosaurus in the mouth. Okay, ad copy's right there. Great song. That new DJ really has the stuff. Take that, auto DJ. I now officially listen to sweet tunes for a living. Okay, they want me to riff on these bullet points, so I should probably study them a little first. Lantern, Colorado.com, and the ice cream place. All right, let's do it. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. Put to work Colorado.com has been putting Colorado. Shall we turn off the music first? 2002, using their super slick job portal. Seriously, I'm not even going to tell you how it works. It's that easy to use. Uh, but Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, 
get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Alrighty. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Good thing there's a sofa right there for us to lie on. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. All right, read all ads, take a break. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, bro, I suck at these. <laughs> wait, wait, go back. That was, that's horrible. <laughs> I can't. No. Um. Spine. No. Let's do, let's do something. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Um. I would either do games or movies personally, so. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. All right, cool. Uh, Blade Runner, interesting. I like that too. Um, oh, we can actually do this for real? Um, sorry, Grace, you're literally double, her, almost double her age and also <laughs> with her. Dang, bubbles. Okay. Hey, yo. No, never. Okay, 22. Whoa. Yeah, maybe not that one then. Yikes. You're kidding. <laughs> Wait, what were the people I matched with? Can I? Oh, there they are. Oh, yes, messages already. Probably break the ice. Play it cool. Ah, yikes. Oh, God. It's like real life. It's like real life. Huh? Lady, I think maybe you're not into guys as much as you think you are. Ugh, okay. That's weird. Okay, was the other individual. Uh, let's make the first move. How do you introduce yourself to someone named Bubbles? Mm -mm. Hopefully they have a sense of humor. I don't know. Oh, boy. Not found your code sucks. Your code sucks. Hey, it reset. It reset. Okay. Spending an hour entertaining yourself by talking to a bot is cute, but spending two hours is cause for concern. Okay, that's enough of that. We have to unmatch this one. <laughs> And we can also do that one, too. Ah, well, that sucks. Okay, yes, the good part. I like reading these.
drugstore makeup. Right, right, right. There we go. That was their band. All right, and this is the person she was with before. Uh, understandable, but I don't really like the concept of all that, of blocking someone. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay, so she didn't just move here. She moved here a while ago, but she's now staying here. So the band broke up. Maybe like a a few days ago. This is March 2018. Okay. But, okay, so it's 2018 right now. So it's two years before Alex comes in then. No, just one year. Alex comes in 2019. Got it, got it. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. I think there was a note for me on the front counter. But first... All these things. Analysis of the sonata form and its relation to musical structure and choice? <laughs> Whoa. Who's the heavyweight thumbing through these bad boys? Oh, wait, hold on. It says read Cassio's note, complete the radio show tasks, and listen to your portable recorder. All right, part of the radio show tasks was to read all the ads. So maybe I'll just read all the ads first and then explore the store. This is Haven Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. <laughs> I may have no clue what I'm doing. But the good news is, maybe no one is listening anyway. Don't worry, we will change that first. Another ad. Let's do the Black Lantern. Good food, authentic atmosphere. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? That's right, nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Absurdly spicy jalapeno poppers. Only the strongest of stomach dare attempt to conquer Jed's signature app. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell them Steph sent you. All right, nice. Huh. I feel like the hardest part of doing this job would be the ads part. I can't, I can't speak uh, impromptu. I need like preparation. All right, one more. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche ice cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. Whoa, so come what on is down that? to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sonny and Angela Anderson, the best neighbors a hungry DJ could ask for. All right, cool. 
now I gotta do all the uh, tasks, so let's get out of here. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent these to their death. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers. I can see why Gabe loves her. That's probably going to be my dinner. Gabe, your girlfriend is too good for you, man. Nice. Alright, we did the books. Whoa. Stain. Oh. oh man, I'm gonna puke. The hell peed on our rug. What the? One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Dog trio. Next up, put your paws together for Nat King Collie. We really need to get some customers in here. <laughs> Yeah, this place definitely needs an update. Treat yourself this Valentine's Day. Call Fred's snow removal. What the hell? When's the last time someone even used this? I mean... Alex uses it later. I mean, I didn't, but Alex can use it later. French cuisine and you? Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? What the? Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. Jesus Christ, okay. This place kind of sucks. I need to know who's mass producing these mountain paintings for every store in Haven. Okay, what else we got here? Sheet music too? This store can't make up its mind. Not the owner's favorite musical, I take it. Oof, we need to get this sucker filled up. I had this melody in my head all night. This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? you need me, be here for you. I'm always gonna pick electronic. Yeah. I bet it'll sound cool as a synth loop. Mostly, I'm totally at peace with my decision to quit the band and stay here. Mostly. George's our dad. Alright, well, her dad. One day, bad clip art is gonna make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay. That's almost the entire store. Let me check the behind the counter here. We've got this package. And then we'll get the Cassia's note. Complete radio show task? I thought we did everything. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. 
I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. It looks, it's like a record box. It's probably just records. All my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Uh, so many more things to read. Okay. My old notebook. Dad must have dug it up in my room and given it to Mikey. Oh my god. This takes me back. So, need a new Elamon campaign. Rhyming titles, Froth and Foam. Okay. So far, this is starting a little slow, but you know, it's the beginning. The beginning of uh, Alex's story was also slow, just going around town meeting everybody. That's basically what this is. It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, that was a notebook. Now drawing. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. Okay, now the gym guide. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Okay, wait. Choose a campaign. Uh, complete radio show tasks. I thought we finished everything. The only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. This is Haven's number one ish. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is maybe no one is listening anyway. I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT. So get your ears ready for some fresh tunes and keep it here. Okay, not bad. Are you the Haven High mascot? All right, this music is a little bit better. This is way better. This I could actually enjoy listening to if I heard it at a bar or something. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff in the store. And I just misinterpreted that as stuff to do in here. 
All right, so next is to read the note. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Better decor, better music, fixed event cover in the back. Gotcha. So, if I read that right, Kosh is basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. Let's go, because this place looks really I'll check bad. Out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. And, yep. There's the vent. Might as well take a look. All right, three things to do. Let's go. Put up a poster, update the new releases, check out the vent, and complete radio show tap. Wait, okay, so I was I was right. And just nothing else for me to do here. Posters. Hmm. One of these might work. Wait, I don't know what they look like though. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a drink. One of these might work. This better live up to the mystery. Cool. Uh, okay. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. Run. My first call. Better go answer. She's not running. You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio follow uh oh my god could i just give you my order and you can just like give it to whoever <sighs> yeah why not sweet all right uh, i got goodbye means forever by kim snyder going our separate ways by the seagulls don't let the door hit you by robbie rooster Hmm. Interesting choices. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if uh, your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> All right, dude, listen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. Yikes. Ooh, somebody... Oh, yes, yes. Cool, cool, cool. That's the only thing we got here. All right. All right, back to what we were doing before. Oh, 
next was new releases. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? It's throwback time. There's gotta be some 90s child out there looking for a nostalgia fix. Right here, this guy. As a former member of drugstore makeup, I'm not in a position to knock anyone's band name. Okay, what else is there? The vent in the back. How do we get to country music from here? How do we get to country music from this? All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Oh my god, that animal's living in the walls. Hey, we're gonna find Valkyrie. You in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. All right, let's go again. And please, we gotta change the country music. I cannot. Jesse had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children, they were brave. But that dirty little. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Uh oh. Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Uh, you know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. Okay. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? Oh, well, I thought it was going to be like wavelengths and music would would be able to do it, but nope, it's just D20. Ooh. A six is not great news. So, what's what my prediction? I don't know where we're playing. I don't know where okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? Hmm. Let's go with something more realistic here. It happens over one weekend at Coachella. First, you forget her ticket in the car and she misses her favorite band. Then you find her in the VIP section and she pretends she doesn't know you. That's cold. Yep. By night, you can't even sleep in the same tent together. From then on, you are music festival foes, ready to throw down if ever your dance paths should cross again. Damn. All right, that's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough, but I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. And what about the guy? What about the guy? <laughs> He's just gone. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do, and then call Gabe. Okay, that's that's that. And we did everything else in the store, though. Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. Call Gabe, that's it. 
All right, cool. Okay, so yeah, we did everything outside then. Well, the call came in about half, half past nine. Slumped down in my truck and no vital sign. All right, just call Gabe then. I'll just finish up whatever I want to do and then call Gabe. But I'm, but I'm done. Radio was on. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. One tear in my eye and a lonesome frown. When they brought me in, I was fading. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great. Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one. Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? XD, let's go. Take it easy. Take it easy. that'll do me wrong. <laughs> Avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. Rough first day, huh? <laughs> well, because of you. Alright, that's the game start. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be, what's it called? Talking. No excuse. <laughs> Better take this call. All right, looks like a couple of months passed. She's still here, so get the job. All right, answer this call. Let's go. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. Ooh. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. These things are complicated, my man. What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show, listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe... Hey, look. A song request Steph did something. Just so he knows I hear him, and I love him. Very good. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. 
Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Hey, Steph. Your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? Yeah, I can relate to that. What's the worst that could happen? You have to drive there and that takes forever, so... Come on, man. Don't put another punk down, I guess. I don't know, R2. Not a match, yikes. Cat looks a little serious, let's not. Pickle. Mm. You didn't even try, come on. All right, maybe she's into LARPing. Okay, we could try that. Make new friends. Not LARPing. I'm just gonna say yes to most of these. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. Okay. I'll continue this a little bit later. First, let's go find that song. So I'm guessing Valkyrie's already here. Time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. pretend that all the mice moved out and went to mouse college by now Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology that must have been some party 1968 oh wow cradle snap i think my dad had their record gosh you ran this place for a long time Oh man, better leave that here or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> oh good, I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? That's not even close to enough stickers. Yeah, it's like nothing. Oh boy, someone has messaged me. Oh no, a cat lover. Oh no. Oh, this is so stupid. Okay, what's wrong with cats? Oh wait, she's serious. Oh my god. No, the moment you say want to meet up, the the ghost do like this. We're not we're not doing that mistake here. And we'll never hear from Janice again. Goodbye. Okay, stick a beam. Done. Now it's trapped. Done. Now let's do this. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Go star I Cream ah, well, 
I don't know what ghost. Star could be five. I could be one. Cream, I have no idea. Well, those drawings were meant to be a hint. Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Well, your girlfriend told me those things about you. Living it up. Let's let's go find let's go find the stuff. Uh, hold list. We probably have more names on if now, right? Pick yes. Up album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Hey, look, they got the flag here. Very cool. Drums. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? Those look like ghosts to me. Uh, so two ghosts? Grabbing this for reference. Yo, there's so much to do. Hold on. Charlotte, what do you need? What do you need? Very cool. Wait, why is she wishing this on the last day? It's like, it's already done. Oh, this is Ryan. Lucan. Steph. Gringich. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay, look, this is where we left off. All right, all right, all right, we gotta keep going. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I also wouldn't have any more movies to show anyone. Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm doing so much and the game just kind of started. Or this DLC just started. Man, that guitar is seeing some shit. Reminds me of my shitty first drum kit. That's why. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Better sound quality, but still a hard ass chair. Wish I had more to work with. The store's looking a little bit better now. Effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. Been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, <laughs> but not so many takers. Uh. Uh, nice, nice meme. That's a nice meme. Thank you. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. Oh, there we go. My ears overheating. 
I think the problem with the pins is not that no one supports it. It's more just like no one wants to put it on because then other people think you're also part of the community, but you're not. I mean, an ally is a part of it, but other people don't realize that you're an ally, so. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the wall. Oh, Valkyrie's still not out? No, no, no. Where is a good spot to put these? You could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Consider it a peace offering. Okay. It was genuinely my pleasure. All right, yeah, I was a circle around the entire room, so here's the next part. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship. The love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. Cool, okay. This stuff got an upgrade. I'm not reading all this though. Mikey keeps sailing south to make me add more paper, which I'll admit was funny the first time. So much work for for Welcome these. To Crindle's Keep. But I respect it. Full little seaside village, or so it appears. Do they call it Crindle's Keep because all the kids keep disappearing? Bad taste, Elamon. Roll for too soon. Hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Yar! It's a travesty. What's happening to them poor minnows? disappearing from out in front of us like salt in the wind. I'm terribly sorry to hear that, Captain. Yar. Have you tried looking in the ocean? You do seem to have a lot of that around here. We've looked in the damn ocean. Will you help us or not? Elamon is at your service. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. It takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. That's not... Wait, wait. There, see? Not a raccoon. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. And we will. Bro, she is sweating. Holy crap. Not bad. Kind of sparse. But I dig it. I mean, you could definitely use some more layers like in there. Something, though. Yeah, you could definitely... Guess it needs a hook. That's... One kind. Give me a sec while I search up what anthemic means. Rousing or uplifting, okay. Maybe like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. Okay, let's continue. 
Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, Three. I've been very confused my whole life. Three. Taking this to look at later. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Borrowing this for a minute. Buy one, get eight? Yo. Fewer, yes. But so many remain. So, drew this with Ethan. That kid. You play hmm. the game, trying to display. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Looks like our intrepid heroes could use a little help. <laughs> Nailed it. Sick GTO. I hate that I actually find this funny. <laughs> Thanks, I vape. And the whole thing says clouds. Okay, I think we have... Damn it, past Dave. Everything but star, so we need to get that still. Which actually, this is enough to... Okay, we found it. We're probably gonna find it here. Those shades are undeniably or, star shaped. It took me way too long to notice this. Enclosure? Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. Alright, now we have the foosball stuff here to look at. I'll catch up with you eventually, Chen. Anyway. I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. So, we're getting a lot of... We're getting a lot of, like, story about what this community is like. 30 eyes of stuff. And it's probably a good place to put it because... I might look through because she's the radio host and all that, but this where's the story? Like or what is the story of this? Before a fall, Stephanie. Let's begin. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, oh, dude! I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga! <laughs> Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm uh, not listening. I love how <laughs> the whole world. Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic? Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. That was all too easy. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Okay, let's do the actual quest here. Maybe I can guess the combination. There are only a hundred gajillion possibilities. Okay. It's ghost first, so that was two. Star was four. I was five. And ice cream was three. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. 
Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. Okay, just in case, I'm gonna... Hmm. Those shades are undeniable. Oh, I can't take it now? Rip. Okay, I think I covered everything else in here. Yeah, we did everything else here. So, I can go back. Ooh, wait. This is something I didn't do. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Feynor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Nice. Also, we're also going to see how the store is slowly evolving from where it was to how we saw it in the original story of True Colors. So Steph's influence is like slowly taking over. All right, finally, after like five songs or ten songs have passed, we're gonna play your song, dude. Need to make sure I've read all three ads today. Yo, we still have that. Okay, let's. let's. Steph, please be just be yourself and mention the flavor selection and on our going buy one get one Sundays. I still get so lonely. What if we did an ad as if it was a radio drama? I don't have a full story for it. No, we're not doing that. And now, a message from our sponsors. Right. No, we're shooting straight. Uh, I'm pretty sure just a real song, though. Ice cream know just how much Haven Springs loves ice cream. Haven loves ice cream so much that Avalanche has. Um. Buy, buy one, get one. Um, cones, cups, and shakes every Sunday. Bring all your kids, but only pay for half of them. That's Avalanche ice cream. Oh, the cover is a real one too. Of the Rockies. All right, I'll take a listen to this later. I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. It's probably gonna be Grady. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo yo. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week would kill me. Dang. Big moment. Are your knees weak? Palms sweaty? I feel like I'm about to throw up. Mom spaghetti? I can see. Ah, I thought she was gonna say it. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Seventeen. You go, girl. All right. Moment of truth. I don't want to give this kid bad news, but... I don't want to get her hopes up either. I mean, the D20 seems optimistic. Come on, let's just do it. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. I'm seeing your parents telling embarrassing stories, bragging about your accomplishments, and Yikes. Flirting with each other right in front of your date. Oh my god, my dad thinks he has so much game. All told, despite your embarrassment, the evening goes really well. In fact, your lady finds your parents' antics endearing and happily follows them after dinner to look at all your baby pictures. Okay, all of this is exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks, Steph. You bet. Good luck and thanks for your call. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it the Dateless Dating Advisor. Uh. All right. Sound effects. Nothing says high quality radio content like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. And we will, and we absolutely will. Okay. Oh yes, the cell phone. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. 
Okay, Violet. Pop quiz. Uh, underground. We'll definitely go underground. Ugh. I set myself up for that one. I just won't mention the town. Uh, Sal is watching in a straight right. Got it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it is a worth worth a visit. It's pretty cool. Uh oh, red flag. <laughs> Yeah, we, I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's normal, right? I mean, we gotta wait till. This is going a little bit over my head. I don't know what. What? Oh. No, we. Come on. Oh, yeah. And we're done again. And we'll never meet them ever, because that's just how this kind of goes. All right, Fiona. Oh, wait. Okay, Fiona. Wow me. It's not going to happen. And then, oh, they're talking. Don't be mad. Okay. Well, some of this is a little bit cringy, but, you know, let's let's just get through it. Tabletop RPGs, yes. Right, I thought we do. You know, we get it. We get it. <laughs> we get it. That's disgust. Come on. Just close the browser tabs when you're done. Why do you have to have 50 open? I don't get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. We did lose our. Er, Steph lost a bet and stayed here.
Ah. And as always, there's never a chance. Oh, okay. That turned out better than I thought it was going to be. All right, lastly, Colby. Do I want to kick things off or leave it to them? Oh, wow, they're actually responding perfectly on time. Wow, nice censorship there. Sure. That does sound like an anime, actually. Like an older one. Astute! She said astute. I mean, they said astute. Oh, no! <laughs> that was awful. It's way too gory. Perhaps Fawn's about to die and will never speak to Colby ever again. Let's... Uh, yeah, we're not going to get that back. Yeah, sounds good. I'll say that and then I'll never meet them ever. Okay, that's uh, the four people we talked to. Do we have any texts? No, that's done. This is done too. This is done and this is done. All we have left is, oh wait, what's this? I know this? it's not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, adds. KRCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with New Popsicles. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Okay, cool. More to offer than the Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. Bit of a learning curve, but we got this. Nice. We actually increased the... Day listeners. I was like, why is it going by day and not by month? But yes, day listeners. I'm sitting in a booth talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement, but this was a sweet message. this local micro celebrity declared cool as hell very attractive
right, I think we have done everything. Let's read this last ad for the uh, local paper. Let's take a quick ad break, Kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local that you, yes you, are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters care about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you want world-class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard. The farther? Rocky Mountain Gazette. Further? That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. The only problem, okay, so this place has 1,100 residents, roughly. I want a place that has almost that amount as well. The only problem is we have like a public library and a public Get newspaper and all that stuff, but they're all kind of like that box ready to hold the decoration. Bad. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, what kind of stuff, what kind of quality stuff would this place have? I mean, the radio station is pretty good, uh, but who's listening to it, <laughs> right? And then that newspaper is like, yeah, but like who wants who wants to hear about all that stuff every single day? At the most, I like to hear, I, I have like a, I sign up to the police newsletter, so they report on like, if you know, a, radio, a road is being closed, or if there's like a, a bear running around or something, right? Those are, that's like, I think that's important and interesting enough, but I don't care about like, hey, we're having a community event on this random day. And then again, I guess that's what separates Haven Springs from where I am. This looks great. Also, you should keep that flag at least. Like, that could just be like a. I, I've seen stores and like in Seattle have that just near the front, just to be like, yeah, the store is friendly and open to everyone. All good things must come to an end, which means every pride decoration must come down. Hold on, what? I thought this was the buy flag. No, nope, I'm dumb. I know what the buy flag is. I just didn't realize. The one with three colors. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fries, Seattle! Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit! You all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. Interesting. We're getting memories not in the form of like Alex's aura reading, but Steph's actual memories about whatever happened in we have one more. her past this life. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Okay, I thought there was gonna be something in there. Are these balloons part of it? I guess, I guess not. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon and spending way too much money and meeting cool people and recharging my entire soul word all right
right, signs are dry, let's go. I feel like we should leave this one, but okay. The fight isn't over until the flag comes down. Good. I mean, not good because it still has to come down, but you know. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Okay, I guess that's why. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. Ah, <laughs> Steph knows who Chloe it's is. Hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. I love that. I love it. Dude, when June came on every single video game company changed their logo into a radio, uh, into a rainbow. That. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card, card holders? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're. I'm gonna go mess with her. <laughs> Not my credit oh, score, please. Don't. Chloe, I swear to God. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. 1980s. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her, same. Yes, that's everything, but the flag on the front door. I think I'm gonna get a spoiler about Life is Strange 1, even though I haven't played it. Sometime during this wavelength uh, DLC here. Kind of a bummer to take down all the decoration. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride, bi pride, pan pride, lesbian pride, uh, bear pride, I think. I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. Nice. So I think that flag could have stayed, but yeah, okay. Well, your girlfriend told me the things about you, living it up and the things you do. I come home from my nine to five, you ain't home, you got. All right, next time skip. It's now Halloween, June to October. Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, But first, 
another track. Okay, work mode, go. Uh-oh, something's going on with her life. Okay, let's check around, just see if anything's Sometimes changed here. This thing is the only reason I come to work. Don't know how much more quality fortune telling I can come up with. Hey, yo. I don't think Steph would like a gym person in general. What? What? Ram and the Ram. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay, music. We're music people. Uh, also music. Oh, that might be a bot. I'm just gonna swipe on all of these. That's probably about Fuck two. You, app. Okay, what do we got? We have Tori and Rita, and that's the only ones. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Man, what do I even say? Actually, that's not cool. I, I like that. Rip. <laughs> the guitarist is not me. Oh, no. What? Hey, come on. Okay. Ah, that's why I want to get to a big city. Come on. Being stuck here is not fun. All right, Rita. Uh, I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. You know what, Rita? I'm going to let you kick this off. Hey? Really? Uh-oh, but the responses are bad. Oh no, these are also both bad. <laughs> Ripping, yes. Uh, wow. Bye, I guess. Oh well, it's okay. Only one new message, and it's Mikey, since we keep switching up. I mean, switching off or declining his calls. Um, and what was the last thing we said to him? Oh, here we go.
Okay, tomorrow is something. Yep. Okay, so we used our phone. Uh, what's the task list? Same shit, different day. All ads, two calls. No problem. Uh, uh, it would it would really help if you didn't rip up the whole thing. Kind Haven listeners, by now you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider. Dinner? Hour? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the Lantern, it's the best. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Uh Uh-oh. Live music on Monday evenings. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday... Uh Uh-oh, she's getting worse at her job. That's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Oh boy, hopefully that's not Jed. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right, um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Dang, three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? (laughs) Probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. (laughs) Well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad They're the ones who end up calling in the radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. That was nice. Man, it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Haven't been on top of my game lately, I guess. Psh, Kasha, you're still cool as hell. <laughs> what the hell K-pop is. <laughs> what does it mean to stand? No! <laughs> Kasha, get up before you can. Oh, he's still can. Uh, he's kind of pulling for stuff too. Valkyrie, forty-five percent. Let's go. Okay. Uh, uh, everything I've done in this room is two calls. We'll do the rest in a little bit. Let's read another ad in whatever way we can, because this thing is broken. Here's an offer from our most loyal I, sponsor. No, I didn't read the Avalanche page. Uh, um, crap, I 
I didn't read it. Okay. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Oh, well. Who does the monster mash? Yep, just right there in the store. Mash it up, get a free cone. Anyway, check it out. All right, let's read. What the hell? Oh, fucking Valkyrie. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, don't bring customers in stores. We're playing long. We're open on Halloween and we're getting free customers too. And we don't know because Valkyrie is a great cat. Thank you. Hey, I know this song. Play. It's a little slow, it's a little wistful, but it's nice. <laughs> Alright, while that's playing, let's go do some of the tasks around the store. Stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Let's see, this one I can keep up for a while. Thanks, Gabe. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. This thing's really coming along. But wait, there's more. I think it's time to raise the stakes. Let's see what Ethan does with that. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Holy shit. Like, Kasha Kasha? them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Oh shit, I need to give this back. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. This is like 95% Twizzler wrappers. Oh, um, can you type properly?
Oh, they respond a little bit more. Well, looks like it's going pretty well with Fiona here. Oh, another one. Oh boy. Okay, yikes. Steph is feeling it. What is she feeling? I don't know. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. Hey, horse. Did you know that gummy bears are made out of horse feet? <laughs> you didn't have to zoom in that close. Um... All right, hold on, character sheet. Of course Fiona wanted to be a bard. Of course she did. Fiona was amazing in this. Oh, we actually went. Nice. Maybe I should be answering more like that. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Pull yourself together, Misty. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. All right, let's continue checking out this store. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. And I still won't listen to it. Sorry, not sorry. Study music on the left. Pumpkins on the left. I mean, the music's on the right. Holy crap. Wait. Which one did Gabe do again? Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. <laughs> Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. I already tried rubbing his belly. Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. I think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. I dragged this whole ass chair out here and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Criminal. Dude was camped out here for three hours. Didn't buy a thing. On the plus side, 
He did leave all this shit for me to clean up. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. <laughs> Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. Yeah, he's lying. All right, cool. We're slowly going we're around. This one framed. Looks like she's getting a little bored as in long this as town. Fans keep putting out actual records. I'll keep trying to sell them to actual customers. Okay, but how to become a home inspector includes 10 aggressively personal journal prompts and they're amazing. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. I will play it. Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's a ah, profound shame after losing to me yet again. Maybe your cat just doesn't like losers. What? Hey, Gabe, where did you get that scratch on your hand? Shut up. Slowly. Hey, my offensive line's pretty good. Could it be? <laughs> After all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? You know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. Rung by rung, sucker. Okay. Now we check the laptop. Actually, not yet. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. We still have this entire room to look through. I can't believe this was gathering dust in the back when it could have been gathering dust out here. This is a uh, decor now. This filled up like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. I can't even imagine working the shop in the throes of beetle mania. I wonder how long it took to get the sin of hairspray and Jack Daniels out of the shop. Man, the 90s must have been a wild time to be an edgy goth dork. I can't imagine doing the same job for like four decades. Poor CDs. None of the charm of vinyl nor the convenience of streaming. But hey, at least you're shiny. Yeah, so these are kind of boring. Yeah, 
I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee. It's been a while since I've worked on my song, ish. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it though, so far. It still sounds a little empty. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, right? Oh, and a vocal track. Dark, dark Maybe always. I'll really bring the doom and gloom in the breakdown. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. Okay. All right. Just a few chores left. Ah, gotta run. Just literally cannot run. Why can't we run? You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you uh, do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is and she shouldn't worry about it. Which was dumb. As a person, I'm like, that's fine, but as an... Did you also call her toots and compliment her on her gams? Gams? Not like that. We're friends. It was just a slip of the tongue, and now it's all blown out of proportion. I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I could probably tell I'll you. I'm I HR. Oh, we're just gonna roll the dice. Okay, never mind. Just ask me, I, I studied this stuff. 10, the most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR, not much to go on from the dice roll. So, what do I think this guy deserves? The right, no, no, we're fine, jeez. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. For 45 tense minutes, they drill you on every word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our coworkers that decided to make a big deal out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. It's just everyone's acting like I'm some sort of a creep all of a sudden. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you weren't trying to make her uncomfortable, but you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy, why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Yeah. You're... Right. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Okay. Two calls answered. Gotta read all the ads, complete the record score, record store tasks. Oh crap! It didn't write down the tasks. Oh, Fiona also messaged. Um, hey, I'm. S oh, what did you do? Fiona, I know you were just trying to help. 
But why couldn't you just mind your own business? Uh. Uh. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm. I mean, I know Arcadia Bay. Arcadia, Arcadia Bay has something to do with the, num the first game, but I have no idea what Steph's connection to it. I mean, we obviously because we don't know yet. But also, I don't know what Arcadia Bay actually means in terms of the Life is Strange universe. deal with something like this how to help you maybe you can't i know that's what i'm trying to say why are we jumping straight to i'm breaking up like why is that did i miss something did i not read something here so sorry stuff well i don't know what to say don't know how to say anything here how to help you maybe you can't help me i know uh, crap why do we have to go straight to that okay I'm just... That was a little tense. Okay, uh, Arcadia Bay. I don't know what happens in that. I didn't play Life of Strange 1. Mm. I know that you can either save it or not save it, but I don't actually know what goes on when you don't save it or when you do save it, right? I don't know what the give and take of that situation is. So something happened there, obviously, and Steph is hurt by it, so something maybe personal happened there. We'll probably find out eventually because we need to. I talk up our sponsors if I want to get paid. Right, 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 right. I know, I know. So there's one don't more. like my riffs? Tell it to the devil cat. Uh, Grimley's Haven Springs, most trusted name and maybe auto service, whatever. Community service for who knows how long. Nice meme, let's go. Grimley's. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, auto. Oh boy. Repairs. Repairs. Grimley's auto repairs. Haven Springs, most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. The latest love video? Yeah, let me take a look real quick. Um, a long time. A darn long time. Like, since the caveman days, when you had to stick your feet through the bottom of the car and just walk real fast. That's a level of experience you can trust. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. There's a ghost in my house. The shave your eyebrows one, dude? Let's find that. This one? Still got work left in the record store. Is there a timestamp you can give me? Ooh, what have I got? Oh, you don't need to get my muscle atrophy. What have I got to do? I'd love to see some wholesome stuff like that. I mean, look at the comments. It, it says like everyone, uh, everyone had the same. What did he shave the eyebrows for? A lot of people are saying that. The guy who was donating to the muscular at dis atroph dystrophy. I thought she was so wholesome. 4.30. Right there. Uh, hundreds of dollars. Ideally, this is my message. Play Soprano Fest. It's a little Soprano Fest challenge. Oh! 
don't want to do any of this. <laughs> oh shit. Love to see that. Whew. That's good. Uh, okay, I can. What was it doing here again? Um, comics, trash, and email. Well, I didn't. I don't think it's. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 bittersweet because it's wholesome, but it's wholesome because of something that isn't uh, isn't great. Uh, I think we put this over here. gonna shelve those albums right now. Thanks for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Oh. Hey. Hi. I've. You? Um. This is my. What, first do, what do you mean by calling, that? So sorry if I get it wrong. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. Just tell me what's on your mind. Wait, is that. Great. Who's Newt Gingrich? Thanks. Well, I played on my high school soccer team last year since all the rec leaves here stop at age 16. Speaker, yeah, yeah, I just got it. No. I don't know. Crazy. Okay, no. It's not no connection to him. I know I'm awkward sometimes. I'm not like a cool girl. 
but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself, but will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? That legitimately sucks. Let me see what I can see. Yeah, crazy. This Okay, so this girl here, or this lady, because she's older. No, actually, we're both 24 now. Ew, so, 16. same age. Bullies are the She's worst. giving out Especially when they life predictions using a D20 on the radio. What do I tell her? She rolled pretty high. All right. Rest this entire DLC future. is just a prequel yeah. to the actual story. What is it? About For a while, all you can do this is lady. And it sucks. And she her like hell. adjusting to one day to, this, practice, to the town. You find her. Uh, side of the road, I guess. Side of the road with smoke rising out from under the hood of her car. <laughs> well deserved. Totally. Apparently this has connections Except to Life is Strange One, but I never played that, so I don't know. Bad. Yeah, after you she left the band. To walk home after practice. I think it's like literally so, right after she leaves the band. The ride. first. Uh, um, of course I do. Like chapter Eventually, begins of this DLC. Inseparable, and your bond. It's episodic, so. I mean, no connection between. Yeah, there's right? like tasks between each. But I kind of don't buy it, you know. No offense. Well, hey. If it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense weird and they get their claws out. But if you figure out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust me. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Hey, uh, back to what we're actually doing, and which is finding out why. Uh, you might need to talk to about, talk to, uh... Actually, I don't know who you talk to about that. The therapist? I guess I do do addiction. I have no idea. Um... Clean up trash. Gotcha. Yeah, this entire DLC is just her manning the entire uh, record store. They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? I don't know what this is supposed to lead I to. Am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done. So and apparently one of the endings Okay, so based on which ending you get in Life of Change 1, the events of this DLC changes. And I didn't play that, so I just chose the random one. Um, because it randomizes it if you if you didn't beat it. And apparently something happened somewhere and Chloe's dead but I don't even know who Chloe is so gotta grab this from the CD section Apocalypse Red album okay cool let's go get that for you dude found it like any other day just like any other fucking day Gabe Gabe's a great friend more importantly he's got booze when I'm done here 
I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Okay. Uh, are we done here? Close up booth. Okay. Yeah, we are done here. Maybe this is the first time we'll actually leave this shop. Alright, now I'm gonna go read every ending of Gabe, Life listen. Strange 1. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Oh, it's Mikey, again. Can I answer the call this time or what? Yeah, I know it's you. It's actually ironic that you're watching this right now. So apparently this guy's also a character from Life is Strange 1. I have no idea. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. Dang, now we have to feel feelings. And it just cuts off there. There he is. <laughs> now he. Really glad we could hang out tonight. What I've seen from the other stuff, like instances of this guy, he is a good friend. Well, you know. I just don't know who he is. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay, where were we? All right. Game Haven't master. Much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh. Wells is coming. Penis. <laughs> 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 I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. The nerd dice. <laughs> Bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Okay, both those are characters from Life is Strange 1. Alright, cool. Everything no, I... okay? Just reminiscing. Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. Hey, wait, just... And now? Just angry. Like there's a piece Hold on, I gotta get this box open. Scream until I run out of breath. No one deserves what happened to them. But they weren't no one. They were so beautiful. Look, Steph, what you're feeling. I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. Cool, cool, cool. This thing grows more every session. My calm sci professor called that scope creep. The courageous and heroic warrior. Elamon. I believe Elamon is about to enter the laboratory's engine room. Sounds right. Another memory. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. 
but she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life, but I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped that nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom, Rachel's parents, half the town. There was no way, so I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. I don't understand. Well, how Chloe is one of the characters, main characters, right, in Life of Strange One. I just Rachel is a character in the in when I in Before the Storm, Rachel, which is the my whole prequel to Life of Strange One. The people I care about, the stuff I like. But I didn't know stuff was connected to them until now. What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. And no mention of Max, which is the other main character from the first game. Let's try. Yeah, I need to read. I need to read what what all this means afterwards. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. That's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking, why don't you come? It'll be, well, you know. It'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both- Yeah, reading. Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. Oh. I, don't realize, I didn't realize she was going to say it like that. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. Now she gets the memo that she's also important. Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. 
maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. Wow, good job, Mikey. I never thought of it that way. Hey, <laughs> that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. Yep. All right. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. He is. I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know why he said that. They're both feeling something today, because tomorrow's the anniversary. Oh, it's winter now. Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? I don't know. I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Maybe you weren't ready yet. Maybe if you had, it wouldn't have helped either of you. No, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, don't ruin it. Okay, give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe, but in a good way? You give her a call. She's surprised, but really glad to hear from you. You start catching up, and at first, it's wonderful. But the more you hear about her life and what she's been doing these past seven years, the guiltier you feel. You stop really listening to her. You're too busy blaming yourself for every little thing she talks about. <sighs> yeah. But then... You remember what a psychic on the radio once told you. You can't make the guilt go away. Stop trying. 
So you focus on her needs instead of yours, and you quickly realize she doesn't give a crap about how you feel. She cares about what you do. You decide to step up and act like the big brother you should have been. You make sure talking to you is a good part of her day. You give her advice when she wants it, and shut up when she doesn't. You talk about her future, find a place for her in your life here, and one day, you look at her in her hiking boots and Colorado sweatshirt, <laughs> laughing at something you did. And you realize you completely forgot to feel guilty. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. Ooh. I'm a fully automated DJ. Okay. Looks like we're back to our regularly... A peaceful herd of Splatosaurus. Regular mood here now. Wah, wah. It is New Year's Eve, Kind Haven listeners, and that means partying, smooching at midnight, and resolutions. Call in with your New Year's resolution, and Haven's best and only radio psychic will tell you how it goes. All right, not gonna lie, this DLC not worth it if you haven't played the first game, cause there's no like connection for me here. I'm just doing, I'm just going around the store doing tasks every season. I mean, it's nice to see her backstory, but let that stop me from reading an ad. It's going on sale tomorrow. Ah. I mean, I bought this on sale too, actually. So, but for fifty percent off, yeah. So, I didn't really waste money by doing this. Last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. Huh. You'll appreciate, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I bought the ultimate, so you know, I already have the, I already have uh, the remastered first game. Um, in my library, I just can't play it until it actually comes out. All right. Last game, I mean, last day of the year. Let's see. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Bruh. I'm just swiping. Wait, really? No one? No one. No one. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Yikes. All right, let's see our, what text we have from the last couple of months. Ooh, Izzy. All right, what do we have here? Okay, here we go. This is new stuff.
Okay. Hey, feel it stills here. Alright, dude, you get you do that. It's 1.30 and I have no alcohol in this household. Alright, what am I doing here? Read ads, check the front door. Alrighty. Now this place looks like a good shop. Door. Maybe concert tickets. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking, which doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. Guess I could hang out here ask myself if I'm going to the office party tonight. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10 year old to start your year off right. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Oh dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Damn. Fiona and I never got to finish our campaign. Mikey's been sketching his favorite- Okay, let me think. Ooh. Oh, I cast seismic projection. Let's see how a tsunami tastes. Fail. What? That's an 18 with plus five spell casting. Yes and you just cast it underwater. So instead of saying seismic projection, you said blub, blubic, blub, blubption. Damn it. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby plans to harvest the children for his dark magic and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. Ah, oh, they just say that. Dang, dude. Ooh, the map is huge now. Like, there we go. I'm still reeling over Elamon cooking and eating the Kraken meat. Mikey is a monster. Elamon bursts into the undersea laboratory where he discovers the missing children, huddled together in fear. Called it. Okay, kiddos, you're safe. Elamon's here. Now, let's have a look around and see what this is all about. Roll for perception. Your orb of luminescence catches the glint of glass jars all Honestly, along I the I think walls. I could probably be a GM. I could write Inside. some nice stories. Ooh, let me play a lot of RPGs, I know. Pure How that innocence. works, kind of. Or laughter. Maybe Children on tabletop RPGs, laughter. but. What? No, it's teeth. They're baby teeth. Oh. Ew. That last session was insane. But Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Alamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? Oh, no Better way. Get my notebook and decide how I want to set up this final battle. When we started nine months ago, damn, Mikey. <laughs> no way. You better you know. Don't worry. Right here. Whew. 
might be premature to say this, but might be premature to say this, but you had a good run, Elamon. You really did. Fifteen bucks a month is pretty steep. Besides, I didn't need pro editing tools to get my song in good shape. Thanks for the heads up, Kasha. Hey, we still didn't return this. He ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Whoops. Haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. What's New Year's for if not stuffing your face with junk food? Gotta give Valkyrie her New Year's treat. Oh. Only the best smoked salmon for my little terror. Oh, nice. We can actually walk up this. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing this back for next year. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Damn, I must have really made her feel bad. In the end, I was the one who needed to figure out her shit. Damn. Misty looks a little creepy, but once you get to know her, she's actually armless. My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and dang it, Ryan, I tried to help you, bro. Nice. I mean, I've, uh, those are all worse than mine, but mine are not great either, so. If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Damn, Mikey. When did you turn into such a grown up? Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. song is still here gotta keep the new hires in check if we ever get new hires oh wait we didn't listen to oh the flyers well krct's officially got a new logo by yours truly and wait where the oh it's right here okay cool I did a bunch of work. Oh, I think this might be the last chapter for this DLC. of that but she is into My little different taste of music so song. I don't think we're in the same category share it with someone uh, yeah send it to Mikey Gotta, uh, okay, we gotta do this too. Gotta add the latest game.
definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man, sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor, teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities to oh, crap. Hmm? Sorry. I was just thinking about that pic Shar showed me of your scene phase. Oh, fuck you. Was it hard to play foosball with your hot topic bangs obscuring your line of sight? It was the mid-2000s, okay? Okay, let's move on to lesson two. Ah, oh, crap. I'm bad at this. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? Dude, what do you know about flexing? Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> no. I can lift more than you. Do you honestly believe that's true? You want to test me? Lesson three. Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. Boom! Thanks for the lesson, professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Nice. People here wear t-shirts in the winter and brag about not being cold. But those of us who've survived Seattle's death drizzle know better than to tempt the gods. Not to come to New Jersey and you survive all the temperatures throughout the year. Uh, okay, well, we covered the back room, now we gotta cover this front. What the hell is Ducky up to? Oh, wait, gotta check the inside here. I never really found religious music inspirational. And then I saw how much money these bands make. The folks who buy rap albums on vinyl are a rare and special group. Hey, that's me. I aspire to that level of coolness. My sweet, precious children, no one will hurt you here. Okay, tomorrow I'm finally, <laughs> we're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. The death metal holiday album I put out isn't getting much play, and I have no idea why. Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. So he's like, killing his own people? What the hell? Uh, this entire DLC is just like a little quirky. How does Ducky make all of this stuff while well, quick little time to have waking minutes after beating the entire game, bar. but you know. Maybe time travel. Can't say I really in not really enjoying this. Okay, but wait, do we do we pass Valkyrie? She's here now, so where? Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. Was this worth 1999? Yes. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. Oh, so that's easy. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. Okay. Choose Elmont's fate. What we did that already. Do I gotta run all the way to the back to do that? 
Okay, so Elamon. What's here? Okay. I'm still reeling over Elamon cooking and eating time to write the last chapter. Might be premature to say this, but you had a good run, Elamon. You really did. Coming up with crazy nonsense. And then Mikey's been sketching his favorite moment of each session. Damn. Fiona and I never got to finish our campaign. His name is Quixby. Once renowned oh, for no. knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby plans to harvest the children for his dark magic and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, but now it's my turnal. That last session was insane, but Elamon got fucked up. I'm worried he won't survive his final battle against the evil owl genius Quixby. I want to show Mikey how much this campaign has meant to me by giving him the epic finale he deserves. Should I let Elamon go down in a blaze of glory? Or should I nerf the baddie and give him more of a fighting chance? Might be premature to say it's time to write the last chapter. Time to write the last chapter. Ow, how do I write this last chapter? Coming up with crazy nonsense. And then seeing Mikey bring it felt really good to share my thanks for the heads up, Kasha. I'm still reeling over Elamon cooking. But I chose it already. I chose his fate. Mikey is a monster. Does this box have to do anything with it? No. Damn. Fiona and I never got to finish our campaign. Mikey's been sketching his okay. favorite moment of each session. I think. <laughs> great. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Let's just keep going. Check the front door and radio show test. So let's check the front door. Scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. That's fun. Is it in here? Is it in here? Inside the store? It's inside the store. All right. All right let's finish up my radio show tasks and then do the scavenger hunt. Like usual. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to. Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, tap out night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers. Drink special so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Haven Springs. Cool. All right, let's just read another one because we got time. My inner Tyler Durden. Oh, we don't have time. Part of the job. But my inner Billy Mays loves it. Okay, I don't repair. Let's go. 
13 years, exact number, winter holidays. Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. Uh. If you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. Nice, she's getting, she's back, or she's even better at these audio, these ad reads. My inner Tyler Durden hates this. Okay, last is the groceries. But my inner Billy Mays loves Holiday food, blowout decorations, on holiday decorations, and friendly food for New Year's Eve. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry, Spam's Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty sized candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spam's is your one stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spam's. Nice. Um, two calls. Okay, so we have to wait here. Ooh, somebody. Yo, Fiona. Oh, I was not doing so hot last time we talked. Maybe I should let her know I'm okay. Very cool, Fiona. Very cool. I don't know if I can I can ask the name. I'll I'll choose this one instead. Very good, Fiona. For what? Hello? Is it like a few hours before the new year? Well, I guess uh, maybe I should have asked for his name. Now I don't know what to call him. Okay, what else do we have here? Gabe. Ah, uh, yes. Wait, we can reply. That's nice. All right, let's. Did you know that 80% of New Year's resolutions fail? Like my resolution to stop Will making up bogus statistics? <laughs> Do I just have to wait for a call? Cause nothing's coming. Oh wait, what? 
Happy New Year. You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay. It's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera. Jesus. With the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. Ooh, that is a difficult one. Let's roll. <sighs> a 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Mm, keep the camera and hope you use it one day? I guess. Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera, even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much grandma paid. Uh. And since the gear is taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. Whenever there's a school project, you work the assignment into a killer student film. A nail-biting expose on Millard Fillmore, an epic fantasy about covalent bonds. <laughs> Actually, I would totally do that. Your teachers love it, and so do your peers. One friend even makes you an Oscar out of paper mache. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker, and you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think, Maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right, I've just got to use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. All right, one more call. Oh yeah, KRCT has gone pro, baby. Pro account. That's how you know. Not that many listeners lately. Well, it hardly needed to be said. So she hardly said it. It's an honor to be chosen as Olivia's elder gay. say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. We are waiting for the next phone call. Ready to roll? All this talk of New Year's resolutions has made me realize I actually don't have one yet. We'll work on that together, Kind Haven listeners.
that's gonna take a while. I'm just gonna start the scavenger hunt then. hunt on New Year's Eve. My friends are dorks. Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. I think it's the drums, because that's how Dr Gabe met us. Typical Ryan. Making triple sure I get it. In the future, bright, shine, it's a light. Ah, the phone call. Now we gotta run there. Seems like a smart thing to put into the contract. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally tontine free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. That's nice. Thanks for calling, Ducky. Okay. Whew. Now, back to the scavenger hunt. Okay, it was a light. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Oh, right here? Oh, wow, that's too easy, Ryan. Huh, sure. Find an exclude in a record bin that describes what you are. It's either indie or Steph's pick. Oh, there is no Steph's picks. My sweet, precious children. No one will hurt you here. 
Oh, there is. There we go. But that's not a choice. Okay. Oh, perfect. Inspirational. I... <laughs> what? Good effort, Ethan. Switchboard. This one or the one inside the booth? The one inside the booth, okay. It's really weird that there's a loading screen between the booth and the store. It's just, it's all one map. Okay, that clue's in here. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. Valkyrie has the last clue or what? Okay, places to think about. Maybe the vent? Where's that next clue? No. So then, not here. Oh, it's right, right here. It's literally right there. Shelf in the back. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Okay, I guess. Wait, box. Holy shit. This is rad. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Awesome. All right. Think it's about time to crack open that champagne. And she's only been there for 10 months, so that's pretty good. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? 
Did something happen? Not really. Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think. That's it. That's, I guess, the one year of Steph before Alex comes through. We got some nice insight into the community and, and Gabe as well, and how Steph transitioned into moving into this town and all that. It was also interesting to see, like, in the last in the last chapter right there, that Gabe was starting to call out, or wanted to call out to Alex, and now in the next chapter, Alex is here. So clearly, in the next, in a, in a two or three months between that, they obviously found a way to do it. And then obviously, in, my from my Alex playthrough, uh, Steph and Alex get together, so nice. But personally, the DLC, I don't see what the point of it is, other than like extra backstory into Haven. But it's a lot of just scouring through the rooms and just getting a lot of, uh, you know, like lore th like that. Um, the only like cool thing about it is like how it connects to Life is Strange 1 and I didn't even know that she was connected that Steph is a part of Life is Strange 1 and I need to find out now but since I didn't play Life is Strange 1 that entire chapter didn't really do anything for me except see Steph's like um, hidden side which is cool but uh yeah I don't know I guess it's only worth it if you play Life of Strange 1, which is probably... Yeah, I'm not gonna play... Wait, what? Oh, like, you can play it again. Uh, no, I'm not gonna play Life of Strange that again. But, no, I think... Now I've completely played uh, Life of Strange 2 Colors from start to finish, and even the prequel DLC, so... This game is completely done with me. I mean, I'm completely done with it. And now I just gotta wait till January for Life is Strange 1 Remastered to come out so I can play that. Um, and actually know why that was such a great game back in the day. Um, other than that, I'm done. I'm pooped out. It's been 3 hours and 20 minutes and I should write that down because it took me 3 hours and 20 minutes to finish the DLC. And I keep track of how long things take, so I should do that. Um, add three hours and 20 minutes there. So the total thing takes 15. There we go. Oh. Interesting. I guess I have to clear this out completely. Uh, left shift to colors. Uh, then the wavelengths thing take took. Oh, it has its own. Interesting. It has its own. Uh, how how long it t how long to beat page? Uh, PlayStation Store. 
uh, completed. Took me first playthrough. Yes. Took me 100% complete. Yeah. Three hours, 20 minutes. Done. So, uh, game review. I'm going to give you like a, a, a six out of 10. And that's that. And then go back to Life is Strange. Uh, true Colors. Go into S. Okay, hold on. I'm just going through all this here. Okay, looks like I've completed that. All right, this game's completely over. Whew. And I am pooped out. What time is it? It's 2.15 p.m. or 2.15 a.m., which is fine because I don't have work tomorrow, so I'm going to stay up longer anyways. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm done with the stream. And I'm going to go Google what these, what the wave, how, how Wavelets connects to uh, Chapter 1 or Season 1 of Life is Strange. But, yeah, no, that's cool. Um what else do I have to say, but have a good night.